what's the best drink? What's the best drink you can have for just about any occasion you can think of? I'm going to tell you the story of my search for the best drink, my experiences along the way, and my surprising discovery at the end. Hi, and welcome to the Les Paris podcast, episode number 380. This podcast is actually about a kind of tea, but we'll talk about lots of drinks. My childhood. When I was a child, there were a lot of drinks that I liked. Coke was good, but I also liked ginger ale quite a bit, and 7-Up as well. You'll notice that they're all fizzy drinks. I also really enjoyed Kool-Aid. In fact, I might even say Kool-Aid topped the list when I was a child, except my mum almost never made it. When I went into my tweens, I got hooked on juices. I had started to become aware that fizzy drinks weren't really healthy. I wanted healthy drinks, and juices were being touted as very healthy back then. The problem with juices was that after you drank them, ironically, you started to get more thirsty. Also, they were quite expensive. My mom didn't want to buy as much juice as I wanted to drink. It was limited to one glass in the morning. And I was about to take up a new hobby. Climbing. In my late teens, I took up rock climbing and mountaineering. I always wanted to carry a drink with me, naturally, and I went hunting for a good drink. There was a new kind of Kool-Aid on the market that didn't have sugar. It was cheap, very light, and really tasty. At least, it was tasty for a while. I only drank it on the weekends when I was climbing, but after a while, I got tired of the taste. It was too strong. I wanted something simpler. My favorite drink now is very simple, but before I tell you what it is, I have to explain why I had to find it. Simpler. It wasn't long before I found powdered iced tea. Since it was a powder, I could add a little or a lot and make it taste just the way I like it. The flavor was simpler too, and there was no choice of flavor, just iced tea. The problem was that it had a lot of sugar in it. Then after a few years, I couldn't find it in the stores anymore. But by then, I had moved on to a very surprising, simple drink. Moving on. I was climbing in the high mountains regularly. Sometimes I did not have the iced tea mix with me. So I began to drink the fresh water running off the snowfields and glaciers. I discovered this was truly the best drink there was. Soon I stopped using the iced tea mix. I only drank the water I found in the mountains. It was truly delicious. But after I moved to Japan, I discovered a problem with the fresh mountain water. The problem with fresh mountain water. I had moved to Japan and I wanted to get a refreshing drink. I went with some friends to the convenience store. There were drinks in Japan, of course. They were pretty good, too, and they were very interesting. There was Kalpas water, a milk derivative drink, and Pokari sweat. Then Iloha's drinks came out with several flavors. I enjoyed them. They were better than green tea, which is okay, but not that great in my books. But my search for a drink in Japan showed me the problem with fresh mountain water. You could only get it in the high mountains in Canada. I had to make do with artificial flavors for a few years, but do I still drink them? Do I still drink them? 
I was drinking these bottled drinks to quench my thirst. Then I noticed something. One bottle is not that much, but two or three a day began to look expensive to me. My wonderful wife came to the rescue one day, introducing me to barley tea. Barley tea is perhaps the best drink there is outside of the fresh mountain water from Canada. You can make it strong or weak. You can buy it ready-made. You can drink it hot or cold. And the best part? You don't get sick of it. It is basically calorie-free and rich in antioxidants, which are associated with good health.